If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott. I'm a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're interested in diabetes-related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out with new content all the time. So I wanted to go over five little-known, not often advertised, tips, tricks, and hacks for the Dexcom G6 that I've come across in my time using the device. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. Number five, free stuff. So this is something Dexcom definitely doesn't advertise, but Dexcom will give you free sensor over patches if you just ask real nicely. So the sensor over patches are these little clear plastic adhesive that go over the outside of the sensor, keeps it nice and clean, keeps it from falling off, and why they don't automatically just include these in the box, I don't know, but if you want them, you can order them from their website, even straight from the app, 100% free, no shipping costs, nada. You just gotta put in your name, address, and then they'll send you out a pack of 10 over patches every 30 days straight to your home address. Now just a little FYI, the Dexcom G7, which will be the next generation of the Dexcom, will automatically include these in the box. So that's gonna be a nice little touch with the new sensor that's not with the current one. So just make sure you ask Dexcom for some free sensor over patches and they'll send them out to you. Number four, more data. So the Dexcom app is kind of limited to the data that you can see on it. You're basically limited to the last 24 hours of data of your CGM values. And if you didn't know, if you turn your Dexcom app to the side in landscape mode, you can see your full 24 hour picture of all your glucose values. So that's another little tip in itself, but not the tip I'm talking about now. So if you want to get a whole bunch of extra data, different trends, average glucose levels, estimated A1C, you download an app that's called the Dexcom Clarity app. So you just go to the Google Play Store, the App Store, type in Dexcom Clarity. Once you download the app, you'll go ahead and sign in with your regular Dexcom login that you use for the regular app. And this unlocks a whole boatload of extra data. So you're gonna have two, seven, 14, 30, and 90 days of glucose trends, your time and range, estimated A1C. You can even set goals, you can download reports. Just a ton of extra data that you don't get to see in the regular Dexcom app. So this is something I think all Dexcom users should download, use this, study it, interpret the data to try to help you improve your glucose values. Number three, make your Dexcom talk. So your Dexcom has the ability to talk back to you. So if you're feeling lonely, you just want someone to talk to, your Dexcom can do that. Seriously though, with your Dexcom, you have the ability to link it to Siri on your iPhone and you can ask it what your glucose levels are. Now from my understanding, this doesn't work with Android, um, but I have heard that you can download some third-party apps like Night Scout and SugarMate to make it work so you have that um, voice capability with the Android phone as well as the iPhone. So setting this up on your iPhone, it's super easy. Just go to settings, Siri shortcuts, and activate it from there. You can even set it up with whatever phrase you wanna use. You can see mine is just, hey Siri, what's my blood sugar? And this is an area I find really useful when I'm in the car and I can't really look down at my Dexcom to see what my blood sugar is because I don't wanna take my eyes off of the road. I just go ahead and ask Siri what my blood sugar is. Siri. What's my blood sugar? Okay, viewing. You're 93 and steady. Number two, Dexcom. Don't bother me now. With the Dexcom, unlike other CGMs I've used, you can actually set profiles for different parts of the day to let you know when you want Dexcom to bother you and when you don't. This is a really nice feature and I found that for me, for instance, at night, I'm a little bit more lax about what blood sugars I wanna be woken up for, uh, mainly with my higher blood sugars. I let that threshold creep a little bit higher to about 160, whereas during the day I have a separate profile because obviously during the day I'm a bit more aggressive with my corrections and I wanna know even if my threshold breaks 140 so I can correct it right away. So this is a nice feature to allow you to set different thresholds, uh, basically when you want the Dexcom bothering you, depending on what time of day it is. Number one, my Dexcom broke. Send me another. So if you have a Dexcom that falls off, it doesn't last the 10 days, you get an error message, anything that happens with your Dexcom where it's not lasting the 10 days like it should, Dexcom can and will send you another one for free. It's really, really easy. You just go to the app, click on settings, contact, report an issue, answer a few questions, and a few hours later, you'll get an email that looks like this one, and a new Dexcom will be on its way to your doorstep free of charge. This is a really nice feature and it's super easy to use, so it's something I would definitely recommend if you have a Dexcom that breaks, falls off, whatever it is, don't lose out on that time that you would have been using that Dexcom for. Don't go a few days without one because that one broke. Make sure Dexcom replaces it. This is very easy to do and there's no reason you shouldn't be using this if you have any issues with your Dexcom. So those are my five tips, tricks, and hacks for the Dexcom G6. Please let me know if there's some that I missed. I'm sure there's something out there that maybe I don't know of. I would love to hear about it in the comments and thank you as always for watching the video.